major. Okay, so now let's blend. So we'll blend all this and we'll blend it out. And what I want to do is take off that point right there so I don't have that point. Kind of take that point off of there. There we go. And then just keep blending it. It's kind of like real makeup. You just keep blending until you get things the way you like them. Cool. And we're going to be blushing her cheeks in just a minute, too. Okay, so again, a brush with no color on it. Kind of go over everything. Okay, and then start blending it out a little bit. And start really softening up that point that you put there because we don't need that point. You can almost get rid of the point. Okay. You can kind of go underneath the eyes too. So how I'm doing it, it's almost like it's blush right there, but you're putting some shape into the face. Okay. All right, let's go to the nose. And let's shade the side of the nose here and go right up into the, um, the brow bone. If you do, if you do wear makeup and you shade your face, like I do all this shading in my face when I, um, all this contouring when I do my makeup. So, um, it'll be a very pretty easy concept. You'll be like, oh yeah, that's how when I contour what I do. So, okay. All right, I think I like that. Yeah. Cool. And then let's take this off of here just a little bit more. And take that off of there a little bit more and blend it out. Okay, look how pretty she's looking. Make sure you guys are still there. Look how gorgeous that looks. Look how we have the perfect contour for the blush, right? Okay, we'll be putting on blush in just a second. I got another great product I love to do blush with. I, that's why I can't wait to swatch all my products because I know there's other things I can use for blush too. Well, these, um, what do you call these? These, um, actually I'm not gonna use this, but these are a cream pastel. Oh, these are like a lipstick, like texture. These are fabulous, but I forgot. I'm gonna do something else for the, for the, um, for that. Anyway, let's contour the neck. Let me focus on one thing at a time. It's like you can only do so much at a time. Okay, and then we'll come over to this other side. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna, oh, I need to come out. Let me think, oh, thank goodness, I'm gonna come out here right now so you guys can see. There we go, so you guys can see me contour the body. This is the part you didn't see me get to, uh, to, to color in. You guys only saw the, you only saw it up to a certain point of the body, so sorry about that. And these are totally inspired. This girl is totally inspired um, as far as this long neck thing and the long body by Jane Davenport. I love how she does her girls and they're all long bodied like this with the long neck and a long body. It's very, very whimsical. I love it. So definitely inspired by her. Okay, I want to get rid of some of the contouring right here. There we go. Let me get rid of this. 
kind of went to too far with that. All right, let me, I want this. You know, I want this side to be heavier shaded. Okay, I was trying to decide which side I want to be heavier shaded. I thought it was going to be the other side, but it's going to be this side. Or I'm going to have more shading on this side. Because um, this is where there would be heavier shading. This is where all the hair is. So it's going to create um, a heavier shadow. how beautiful this goes on I mean it's just like insane and I'm thinking these are what pan pastels are like because whenever I seen people work with pan pastels which I always was attracted to pan pastels when I seen people working with them I was like oh I want those those look so good now I know why I was attracted to them I like working with something that's this smooth I'm putting a heavy shading over here on this side. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush that has no, um, has no color on it. Make sure you guys are seeing everything. Okay. And I'm going to run my brush through everything. All the way up to about right there. And then I'm just going to blend out. Run my brush over it a couple more times and blend out. So then what it, when you run over it a couple times, it loads up the brush just real lightly with some product so that you could blend it out easy. So just go over it, blend out. This is gorgeous. Look how easy it is to blend out. Oh my goodness, you don't have to use a blender like with my pencils, you don't have to use another lighter color, lighter color, lighter color, and keep blending it out. It just blends out. Okay, I'm going to go on this whole thing and then I'll blend it up. Look how beautiful these are. Um, I did use a 20%. Well, oh, um, when I bought these, I actually did use my 20%. They let me use my 20% off total purchase, and then one item I got 40% off. So that's how I bought a bunch of my Jane products. So I got a few more things that I want to get. I bought almost everything I want. Um, I have a few more things that I want to get. So, um... Um, at the beginning of the month, November 1st, I think it is, or right at the end, they have a 25% off total purchase plus 50% off one item. And it depends on who you get, you guys. They'll let you use both. I know that's very frustrating because there's some people, if you are if you have a cool Michaels and people that are cool that work there, they'll, use, they'll let you use that 50% off with the 20% off total purchase and then one item for 50 cents. I don't think they always let you double up on your coupons, but they should let you when, if they're cool, when they have uh, the 25% off total purchase. And both Michaels that I go to, well, they know me too, but both uh, Michaels I go to, they're just cool. Everybody's cool there. So, and I don't know if that's because they know me or just, they just seem cool, period. You know, some stores just have a cooler vibe than other stores, depending on probably management. But both my stores, I love everybody there. They're just cool. They're so nice to me. They say hi. Oh, hey, Angela, how you doing? Right when I walk in. I love both my Michaels. And my good friend Christy Nartway used to work at one of them. And 
She don't work at that one anymore, so I don't see her at that one. Okay, oh, see I told you, like, if you gather lines, you can just erase. And it just erases beautifully off. Love it. Okay, you guys, look at that skin. Look at the shading. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, fabulous. Okay, so next thing I want to do is um, we're going to put the cheek color in in a second. But what I really want to do is I want to get some eye color in. I like to get the eye color in as soon as I can because, oh, and I want to show you something. This is what I'm going for with this girl. I did this color combination on this girl, and it was, everybody loved it. Just a second. Hopefully it's right over here. Okay. I'm pretty much going to do the same color combination as I did on this girl. Didn't she come out? I think she came out so pretty. So this is the color combination. Everything, the hair, the background, everything. I'm going to do it again. It's a different girl, but I want to use that color combination because it came out so pretty. So, where can I put this at? Um, where do I want to go to? Oh, so I want to do one green eye, one purple eye. So we're going to do that. And that's kind of like my, um, it's not like it's my MO, but it's something that I like to do. This one purple eye and one green eye. And I got it from Jane Davenport. I saw her do that. I wasn't sure if it's one green eye and one purple. I can't remember the color she used. It's just that um, one time I saw a girl of hers that she did had uh, two different color eyes. And I was like, oh. So ever since I've seen Jane Davenport do that, I've been doing it. Like, my girls rarely ever have the same color eyes. I just think it's cool to have two different color eyes. I think in real life it'd be cool to have like a green and a blue eye or a brown and a blue eye. How cool would that be? You always think being different, like, oh, I don't want to be different. But that's, I don't know, in my opinion, that's, that's what makes you unique, makes you cool. That you're not like everybody else. And in today's world, we're a little more encouraged to be our own person, you know. Okay, I'm getting a little bit too much color up on there. It's a really small area. Easy to get too much watercolor up there. Okay, that looks good. And then we're going to shade those in with pencil in the deep corners so we get some real nice eyes going but we're gonna let it dry okay um well let's blow dry it and we'll just do the whole thing let me dry it real quick Okay, so what I'm going to use is I usually have these pencils out, so I'm going to use this uh, green pencil here, which is a Prismacolor parrot, parrot green, which is like a turquoise color, and then I'm going to use um, chartreuse Prismacolor on the green eye to shade, and then on the purple eye, I'm going to use another Prismacolor, where is it? Here it is, I think. Is this it? No, this is Copenhagen. Just a second. I leave all this stuff out so I can find it easily. And then I still lose the darn thing. Or the one you want is on the bottom, which was where this one was. Okay, and then this purple I'm going to use is just violet Prismacolor. Okay, let me put my eyes on. And I need my blender pencil. I love mixed media, you guys. I love using 20 million different products on one girl or anything I do. Okay, I'm just looking at the time situation. This might be a three-parter. This is probably going to be a three-parter, and I'm not even... Um, and then I'm going to take my blender pencil and blender, blender, blend this out, the green. 
it's a three-parter and I'm not even gonna do the background with you guys crazy it's crazy how long everything takes Now, if the eye was bigger, I would get another third color, deeper color, and put it right up in the corners. But her eyes aren't that big, so I'm just going to deepen the corners one more time. And that'll be good. And then I'm going to take the chartreuse color and just kind of go in the middle here. To give that real pretty green eye, which I love. Okay, then I'm going to take this violet right up in the corners. About halfway down. And then uh, take my blender pencil wipe your blender pencil off to make sure you get any green that was left on there and blend it out you can get these blender pencils this is it's that cheap brand uh, artist loft um, they have pencils set up now like prismacolor pencils but they have artist loft pencils and they're charging like three bucks a pencil so it must be some de decent pencils anyway this is only a dollar fifty though or no a dollar twenty five so I picked up tons of them. Okay, and I just blended that. And I just want to erase a little bit so that I can have her, that lighter purple that I have in the center just show up a little bit more. There we go. That, that looks good. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. Okay, so we're done with those. Let's go ahead and put in, oh, what I want to show you what I did already is I um, went ahead and already outlined everything. Like I always like, I draw my art, I draw my girls or whatever my artwork is, I ink them out and then I make copies of it. So I already made a copy of her, but I always go back around the eyes again with my, um, these pen, these kind of ink pens. Okay. I don't want that size. And I already went over her, so I don't need to go over her again. And I don't use either one of these. What the hell? Here it is. I'm just trying to make sure I don't need to go over any of the eyes again. I might go over this right here. If you just want to go over it just a little bit more. I just want to give her a little bit more eyeliner on the bottom. A little bit heavier eyeliner. Just a little heavier. Not a whole lot heavier. I already put pretty heavy eyeliner on her. I just want to get it a little heavier. And define this. So whatever you need to do to define the eyes a little bit, do it. And I already did her eyelashes, and I like the way her eyelashes look. So we are good. You may need to go over the lip line again, but I already did that with my pen. Okay, so I'm going to use my liner brush again, okay, and my white paint, and I'm going to do some catch lights, just a second, let me throw some more white paint on here. We need to do some catch lights, and um... Oh, let's not do the catch lights yet. Let's do her makeup and then we'll do the catch lights because I'm going to do the catch lights over her cheeks and stuff too. I know that sounds weird. Catch lights are going to go over her eyes and I'm going to do some more catch lights, like highlights on her cheeks. But anyway, let's do some eyeshadow. So, um, this is the one. So I'm going to use this palette right here. Okay. And we're going to use this purple and that pink for eyeshadow. And I'm using my eyeshadow brushes, which I already have used. Okay. And we're going to do the pink. Right on the outside. It shows up so pretty. It's so pigmented. right on the inner inside ok 
Okay. There we go. And then we're going to put purple on the outside. And this combination I did on that girl I just showed you, and it came out so pretty. Oh, I am going to go back over her eyelashes when I'm done with this eyeshadow. Because I also need to go, I went over her eyelashes with, in her hair too, so we will do that. So it brings out her eyelashes again. That looks gorgeous. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same pink color on her cheeks. So I, I dab a little bit, but dab a little bit off so you don't grab in too much. Make sure you guys are still there. Yeah. And then just start, I start right in the corner and then I just bring it out. And I like some nice blushy cheeks. When I first started doing my girls, I didn't like real blushy cheeks. I was always trying to do it really, really natural. But after a while, you get used to color, and it's fun to give them really blushy cheeks. I even like to wear pretty blushy cheeks on myself. I put a lot of blush on. Not too much, but, I, you know, I like a nice rosy cheek. And that pink color is beautiful for cheeks. Now we're going to take that same pink color and right, bring it right down for the lips. Look how I just used that same color on the cheeks, on some of the eyeshadow, for the inner part of the eyeshadow, and then on the lips. So quick. Isn't that cool, you guys? Now we're going to throw some lip liner on her, and we're going to use um, the Prismacolor pencils for that. Jane Davenport also has pencils. I, I love her pencils, too. They're mixed in with my uh, Prismacolor pencils. I also use her pencils, too. Okay, we're going to blush her cheeks just a tad bit more. Let's get a little bit more color in them. Just a little bit. Drama. Love. Look how gorgeous. It, that, it's that color combination, you guys. I love this color combination for the makeup. It turned out so pretty on her. I was like, oh my God, I have to do it again. Okay, so is that everything I need for that? I think so. Okay. Um, now I want to do, oh, let's do the lip liner. And let's make sure you guys are still fire. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using um, Mulberry, I think it is. Yeah, Prismacolor Pear Mulberry. And this is going to be her lip liner. That with a blender pencil. Okay, so let's line her lips. I go right next to the original lip line. do it pretty heavy at least I like to do it pretty heavy okay and then um, take your blender and blend out and then we're gonna throw some catch lights on here on her lips yeah that looks pretty then we're going to throw some catch lights on everything now. Now here goes the catch lights. Okay. So now... I think this is thin. I don't know. Let me make it a little thinner. So I'm taking my white paint with my liner brush and I'm, you know, getting that consistency that I want. It's hard to explain it, but you know what? You experiment with your consistency to see. And then take some of the paint off the brush. Because you don't want to work with a lot of paint on the brush. I kind of test things out. Okay. It's hard to explain, but you kind of have to experiment. Okay, so the first thing I do is I want to put the catch lights on these eyes. So there's a catch light here. 
I'm going to put a catch light over here. Okay. And I have to turn this girl just right because I'm going to take catch lights and go like this. And put dots all the way down. And that look pretty, you guys. Okay, so the same thing over here. Put a catch light in. Catch light. And then, excuse me if my head's in the way. I'm having to hit this just right because her head is tilted, right? So, perfect. Okay, so also, let's just do a catch light in the lips real quick. Ooh, I didn't like that catch light. It's like too big. All right, that looks good. Okay, now we're going to put a bunch of catch lights, like little sparkles, on her eyelashes. Okay, so I'll show you how those are. So a little, oh, before I do that, Remember I said I wanted to mess with her eyelashes. Now's the time for that. I need to go back over her eyelashes a little bit more. Just to bring out her eyelashes a little bit because we went over it with eyeshadow. And then I really need to go back over go back over these with her hair. Okay, perfect. And you use your finer pen, ink pen. You can use a micron, whatever. Whatever you got. Okay. Then you're going to go back with this with your, and do little sparkles. And you touch it very lightly. And it's like catch light city. Or highlights to the gods. Is. And I'm going to come right on, I did a little bit on the, um, on the, uh, the eyeliner, lower eyeliner. Okay. This is what I think makes her look so pretty. You guys, if my camera turns off, go to Instagram to see her finished up, okay? Oh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how she turned out. Loving. Oh, I need to throw another little catch light on her nose. And then we'll catch it on her chin. So we'll put one right here on her nose. There, we'll put another catch light right here. On her chin. And I'll probably put a catch light over here. I think it's going to be like the blush or something, putting some color, skin color in. I'm not really sure yet, so I'm not going to do it on camera. I'll do it off camera. But that is it, you guys, for this video. This video is long enough before I get cut off. I'm glad. I'm surprised I didn't get cut off yet. Anyway, but I, I don't know if this is going to divide up into uh, parts uh, one and two. I know it's going to be a part one and part two on this video, but I don't know if it divided up into a part three or not. Because I just, on my camera, I've done one continuous video. So, anyway, you guys love her and she turned out so pretty um i love this color combination look at that so what i'm going to do for the background is the same as i did here i'm going to do here go on instagram and you guys can see how i finished her out so okay you guys i hope you guys like what i did i hope you've been inspired go get some of jane's stuff um it's fabulous um draw up a girl get a stamp get a stencil get a coloring book page use these techniques if you'd like them and I hope I can give you guys some inspiration, okay? I'll talk to you guys next video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. You give this video a thumbs up. That'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.